name is Katherine Kuchewski and today I'm going to talk about my actual morning routine and the questions you had about them. I recently did a video on morning routines based on this book, Miracle Mornings by Hal Elrod. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it in a link down below. So here is my actual morning routine. My alarm goes off at 5.30 in the mornings and honestly, it is really tough for me. I have to put my phone in the other room because I'm just not gonna get up and keep hitting that snooze button. I am definitely not naturally a morning person. And no, I don't have clappers in my house, I wish. I head straight for the kitchen and make some hot water right away. Boom! Everything I need to make my hot lemon water with ginger. Honestly, I drink this every single morning and it's good for your digestive system, your immune system, has vitamin C, there's lots of good things in hot lemon water, especially when you add ginger. Like my father would say, it's good for you, drink it. I pour it into one of my favorite cups that I got in Iceland, best drip ever, and it has a puffin on it. What's not to love? Boom, it's shake time. I drink almost the same shake every morning of the weekday, and on the weekends I eat whatever I want. I'll put a link down below of what's actually in there. It just allows me to have a lot of greens, nuts, seeds, and protein in my diet that I find hard to get during the day. I'll grab my phone and my earphones to head to the living room and meditate. I'll put a link down below to the apps that I use. I always sit on the floor on a pillow because it helps to keep my back straight. I'll sit down at a desk and write in my journal and I use an exercise called morning pages. I'll put a link down below. I read my goals that are written out on cue cards and these are separated into different areas of my life that I want to work on. It takes about five minutes. It's workout time. I like to work out in the mornings because if I work out later in the day, I just cannot get to sleep. I'm just too hyped up. I do one of three things in the mornings. Option one, I do a yoga routine and this one, I just do a bunch of sun salutations, some different poses that I want to work on, but it's nothing too intense. It generally takes me about 10 minutes. Option two, I do something that's called the seven minute workout. It's basically a HIIT training exercise and there's a free app on your phone. There's one for women, I'm sure there's one for men as well. Don't be fooled though, this is an intense workout. I find this extremely hard and it's also a great way to stay in shape if you don't have a lot of time in the mornings. There's a lot of signs backing up short interval workouts and how they could be just as good as a one hour workout. Option three is I head out to a local yoga class. They don't always have classes in the morning, so I do these twice a week. Time to shower. I take extremely quick showers and it usually just takes me five, 10 minutes max. Oral hygiene is important and we gotta get those pearly whites shining in the mornings. And I'm dressed and ready to work on my personal stuff in my home office. I have about one hour to two hours in the morning depending on how long I've worked out. This gives me plenty of time to get stuff going. And that's my mornings. I get out the door at around 8.50. Here is my actual morning routine breakdown. I'll also put it in the description box. So first off, the truth. My mornings don't always look like this. I'll be happy if I can get my meditation in, drink my lemon water, and read my goals. If 
if I get a workout in that is absolutely fantastic, if I get everything in on it, then I have a fantastic day. But if I just have those three things most of the time, then I'm pretty darn happy. Life just gets in the way sometimes and I can't always do this morning routine. Out of everything that's on that list, meditation is my must. It is the single thing that I find has given me the biggest difference throughout my day. Even if I don't work out, my day is still okay, but if I don't meditate, then I see the difference. I, I'm more edgy, I'm less peaceful, it just helps to calm me down and really kind of gives me a really nice, even steady kind of feeling to my day and it helps me to breathe during the day when I have hard moments. So that is my absolute must that I have to do every day. I find this morning routine really goes through kind of an ebb and flow. When I'm on vacation, I don't do it for instance, and then I'll get back and something happened where I don't do it in my life, but then I'll get right back into it because I really see the difference when I do get back into my morning routine and I really actually love doing it. I find I get so much done, I have more energy, all of that stuff is such a plus in my life. So it's easier for me to jump back into it when I've had to take a break from it. On to the questions! So Danielle asks, why did I change my schedule? I've always been a night owl and I thought I would have the motivation to work on my projects at night because I had this natural energy. But then I read that willpower decreases during the course of the day and that made complete sense because I would just come home and do nothing. Watch Netflix, read, whatever I wanted to do, but work on my projects. And I was just getting more and more frustrated with this. So I really, really, really wanted to try getting up early. And since I have, it's been fantastic. I have more energy, which is another thing that I wanted. And the second thing is, is I actually have time to work on my thing before anybody else gets up and before I have to go anywhere. Sandy asked, what are my energy levels after? Amazing! Honestly, just keeping, I think, just keeping a regular schedule is really what did it for me. Before I just didn't plan my days and then on weekends I would sleep in super late and go to bed late and then it would throw me off on, on Mondays and Tuesdays. So just the fact that I have the reg regular schedule has made a huge difference. But the thing that surprised me the most about getting up early is that I started naturally getting tired at around 9 p.m. And that is what made all the difference, that getting to bed early is what allows you to get up early. Yvonne asked me, did I try doing a morning routine before and what made me stick with it now? Yes, 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 yes. I tried doing this so many times. I always felt bad about not being able to get up in the mornings, but it wasn't because of the feeling bad. It was more that I couldn't get to work on my own projects. and. That is what helped me the most. The book and the timing in my life and like being frustrated with a couple of things helped me to get up in the mornings and keep it on a regular schedule because the book helped me clarify why I got up and what I wanted to work on. And then because I started seeing results, well then that helped me to keep working on it and doing it regularly. And the second part to this question is that the routine of it actually really helped me a lot. I always rebelled against kind of structure and discipline, but there was a there's a freedom in the discipline of it. Because I know I do this, this, this in the mornings, well then it frees up my mind to think about other creative things that I want to work on. Tommy asked, what was the process to get there? Honestly, it's still in the works. I'm still kind of tweaking it and trying things out here and trying things out there, but in the past, this is how I would approach things. I wanted to be gung-ho and do it all and perfectly all in one shot. And then my batteries would die. And I'd do it for about a week and it wouldn't stick. But this time I really, really wanted to do it. So I gradually got into it. I did one thing at a time. First, I added the lemon water and just got up and made myself a glass of hot lemon water every day. 
Once I got that habit down, well then I would do that, then I started adding meditation. But I wouldn't do 20 minutes right at the beginning, I would do two minutes of just sitting and breathing. And then 10 minutes, and then 15 minutes, and then 20 minutes. Once I got that down, then I started getting up progressively earlier. So 8 o'clock, then 7 o'clock, 6. 5.30 was a big, big breakthrough for me. I had never, ever gotten up that early before. And then as I was doing each step, I noticed, oh, I feel kind of better. And oh, I like that. And then it would motivate me to do more and more and more. So I just kept trying things and taking action and seeing what I liked and didn't like and that kind of led me to what I'm doing today. Marianne asked, what time do I go to bed and what happens if I stay out really late one night? Great question. I actually go to bed at 10.30 is the latest if I'm getting up at 5.30. But sometimes I'm t even more tired, so I'll go to bed even earlier. It just it depends on the night, and I just try and listen to my body. This has been the key to getting up, is actually listening to when you're tired and going to bed. And I have a winding down schedule, which I'll talk about later. What happens if I have to stay out late one night because of an event or whatever is happening? That's okay, just sleep in. You don't have to follow this exact schedule every single day. I try to as much as I can, but when I go on vacation, I don't do it. Or when, when Christmas holidays or other events come up, I fall off the morning routine. But I get back on it as soon as I can. Or if I have a, it's like a regular weekday, then I will get up whenever I can and do the routine as much as I can. I just try and not beat myself up about it and get back into it when I can. So another big question I get asked is how do I go to bed early? If you're not used to going to bed, it is a very, very tough thing surprisingly to do for a lot of people, especially if you're a night owl. If you want to change your schedule and you want a night routine, well that video is coming up next. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love looking at the questions and comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.